Hi guys and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with TJ, that's me, and we are in my home away from home, my edit bay. For those of you who don't know, I actually am a, well, it would sound a little pretentious if I said an award-winning TV editor, but that's what I am. So I'm an award-winning TV editor who is actually working on Animal Planet's adorable hit show called My Cat From Hell, which is the inspiration for this week's workout. So, the cat that I'm working on is what is called a feral cat. Now, you guys are probably pretty smart and knew what a feral cat was. I don't know nothing about cats. I actually am a dog lover. So I had to ask my producer, what is a feral cat? And so, a feral cat, F-E-R-A-L, a feral cat is a cat that was raised in the streets without any human contact, was born to, you know, a stray mom who had a litter of puppies, I mean, litter of puppies, kittens. Um, and so my episode is a cat named Tosh. And Tosh was adopted uh, by a family that got her, him, her, him, I think it was him, oh well, um, got him from a foster agency who had taken the cat in. Now, Tosh is acting a plum fool attacking the family, not letting them near him, everything. And so the thing is with the feral cat, they're not used to human contact. So he's he's striking out and he's not letting them near him. And so um, by the end of the episode, Jackson, the star of my show, the cat whisperer comes in, totally interprets the cat, retrains the cat. So by the end of the episode, I can't show you footage because it hasn't aired yet, but by the end of the episode, the cat is mild mannered, loved on, letting them touch and rub and everything. And so that actually kind of taught me that um, we all have people in our lives who would you know, be considered feral, hard to live with, hard to deal with. And the thing is, we have to peel back those layers and get to understand why they are acting out, why they're this way, why are they, you know, uh, just acting a fool or fighting or posting really risque pictures or anything that we kind of as a society shun on them. And so a lot of my friends actually tease me because I am like a Pollyanna. I always, always, always try to see the best in a person and not go to their behavior, but get to the bottom of why they're acting like they're acting. So your resilience muscle workout this week is to actually look at your circle. Look at, is there someone in your life you've written off because they're not acting in a way that, you know, um, is appealing to you or they may be acting crazy or acting out. Maybe if you just took time to understand why they are like that. And you know what? And I'll use myself as an example. Most of my friends call me a beast when it comes to my work ethic. And I actually can be like a machine when I decide I want to do something, I want, I set a goal or what have you. And so my cousin is always teasing me that it's going to be hard to find, because I'm back to dating y'all, so it's going to be hard to find a man who can accept that, that my hardcore work ethic kicks in. And the thing is, you have to peel back the layers of where that came from. I came out of a single mother household who was raising two kids, and there was an incident in my childhood where my father got into a lot of trouble and which was, it caused embarrassment on my family. And so when I came home one day to hear my mother crying on the phone to tell her friend that how she was embarrassed to say her last name in my small town, something in me kicked into gear. And I was determined by the, in, by the time I graduated from high school that my mother would be proud to say her last name. And that has been my work ethic ever since. So anyone who is in my circle, any man that I date, they have to understand that and they have to love me in spite of and maybe help me get a little softer and segue out of that work ethic, that, that machine beast mode that I can go into. So I use myself as an example. I want you to give grace to someone around you who you have just maybe written off and didn't understand. Does that make sense? I hope it does because I'm tired and I'm ready to go home. So that's all I have for you. I want you to do what you normally do, which is what? Wrap yourself in a big old TJ hug and I'll see you right here next Tuesday on Tuesdays with TJ. Bye. 
To get a free download of chapters from my award-winning book, 40 Days Till 40, visit www.tuesdayswithtj.com and click on free stuff 